Are you spiritually mature? Hi there, I'm Natty Anderson, and you're listening to Unlocked, your daily key to unlocking God's Word in your life. I have a lot of different interests, and when I get into something, I get into it. I love to learn more and explore all of its opportunities. For example, I recently discovered a strange interest in the funeral industry, so I've been absorbing all I can about random aspects reading reflective books, listening to history and commentary, purposefully following morticians and funeral home directors just to learn more about what they do, how they do it, and how they serve people in one of the most vulnerable times in their lives. Whenever I get obsessed like this, I can't help but pause and wonder if I'm pursuing my own understanding of God with that same devotion. How have you been growing closer to God lately? Well, that's what we'll be talking about in today's Devo. It's called Cry Out by our very own Taylor Ising. What do we need to do in order to become more spiritually mature? Be really self-sufficient? Come up with all the right answers to life's questions? In 1 Peter 2, 2, we are told to, like newborn babies, crave pure spiritual milk so that by it you may grow up in your salvation. This metaphor really caught my attention, and the more I thought about it, the more sense it made. I don't know if you've ever been around a hungry baby, but when they crave milk, they let everyone know it. It's not a quiet, composed, passive desire. They aren't saying, well, milk would be nice, but I could take it or leave it. They scream, they cry, they wail. They do whatever it takes to get what they need. That's the kind of craving for spiritual growth God wants to cultivate in us through the Holy Spirit. He wants us to cry out, passionately desiring more and more of His goodness, desiring to know Him and His love for us more deeply, to walk with Him more closely, to become more like Jesus, and to love Him and others more fiercely. And much like a parent feeding a hungry baby, God meets that need in the context of relationship. When babies eat, whether they nurse or are given a bottle, they are held close in the arms of their caregiver as they get the nourishment they need. Likewise, the only way for us to receive spiritual nourishment from God is to draw near to Him. There's no such thing as spiritual growth apart from relationship with God. It's only in the context of deep, intimate relationship with Jesus that we can grow and thrive spiritually. This truth can be both humbling and freeing. I cannot force myself to spiritually mature any more than a newborn baby can create food for themselves. I have to look to Jesus and His death and resurrection. I have to receive His love and care. It is only through daily, even hourly dependence on the Holy Spirit that I can grow. So, if I want to spiritually mature, instead of coming up with my own answers to all of life's questions, It's my job to cry out to our loving Father, desperate for His presence and nourishment. It's my job to dig into His Word, the Bible. It's my job to be sensitive and obedient to the Holy Spirit. It's my job to invest in a community of believers, giving and receiving encouragement, comfort, love, and help. Then, it's God's job to make me grow. So let's talk about this a little bit more together. In what ways have you tried to become spiritually mature apart from God? What might it look like to passionately pursue relationship with God? As you and I can read in 1 Corinthians 3, 6, I planted a seed, Apollos watered it, but God has been making it grow. Now, I'd encourage you to read in your Bible, 1 Corinthians 3, 4 through 9, and 1 Peter 2, 1 through 5, to keep God's Word alive in your life. Unlocked is a resource of Keys for Kids Ministries. I encourage you to check back for tomorrow's devotional about the most dangerous creatures with Dylan. But until then, I'm Natty, encouraging you to live life 
unlocked, opening the door to God in your life.